The words less and fewer actually don't mean the same thing. In this video, we will be exploring the use of two words that are often confused, fewer and less. Just like the woman baking in the picture, we will be answering the question, which words should we use and when? Grab your writing notebook because we will be taking some notes on the next blank page. Go ahead and put the date in the right-hand corner. Then write the words fewer or less at the top of the page as the title of your notes. How many chairs do you see? I see four of them. Chairs are something that we can count. Because we can count the chairs, we would use the word fewer. We could say there are fewer chairs in my classroom this year. I used fewer in this sentence and not less because chairs are items that we can count. How many grains of sand do you see? Can you count them up? I don't know about you, but I can't. And some of you may be like, Mrs. Connect, that's impossible. There's thousands, if not millions. And you would be correct. Grains of sand are not really countable because they can't be counted up. We would use the word less here. For instance, there is less sand in my backyard than at the beach. So are you starting to see the difference now of when to use less and when to use fewer? Let's take a few notes to capture what we are learning. The word fewer is used when the items can be counted. If you can count them pretty easily, then we use the word fewer. Let's pretend we're baking an apple pie. I need fewer apples for this pie than I would if I was baking an apple, apple tart. Why did I use fewer in this sentence and not the word less? It's because the apples are items we can count. One, two, three, and four. Go ahead and draw some items that are countable next to your notes about the word fewer. You could draw apples or chairs or whatever other items you would like to represent for something you can actually count. If you need more time, go ahead and pause the video. Now let's copy this example sentence to go along with your notes and drawings. It uses the word fewer correctly. Can you tell me why? Yep, that's it. We can count the students in our class. Because of this, we use the word fewer. All right, let's write our notes about the word less. We use less when the items cannot be counted. Check out that picture. The guy has countable things on one side, and he's got the word fewer with those. But on the other side, he's just got stuff. It can't be counted, so he's saying he has less stuff. Check out this sentence. I'd like you to write it down. There's less milk. Can we count milk? No, we can't count milk. It's a liquid. For liquids like milk and juice, we would use the word less. Even though we could technically measure out milk, milk and juice are not considered countable unless we're counting the cartons themselves or the cups themselves and not the liquid inside. Go ahead and draw either a milk carton to go with this sentence or a pitcher of juice. I really like this comparison. We can count the oranges, so we would use few, but we can't really count the juice because it's a liquid. We can count the cups or the containers, but not the juice itself. So we would use the word less for less juice. I also want you to write this short sentence next to your notes on the word less. There's less time. Time is another thing that we use the word less with because even though we can tell time and count the minutes and seconds and hours, we see time itself as something that cannot really be counted. Here's a little cartoon that illustrates the incorrect and then correct usage of less and fewer. Read it quietly to yourself and then I'll talk about it. Today the lake has less fish as compared to yesterday. Why is this sentence wrong? The top sentence is wrong. 
I hope you are saying because you can't count. You, I'm, excuse me. I hope you are saying because you can count fish. And that's exactly right. We should be using fewer. It's fewer fish. So here's your tip. First, ask yourself if you can count it. If you can, then use fewer. If you can't, use less. Now let's practice. There was blank wind today than yesterday. Is wind something we can count? No. So let's use less here. Now I've got now I've got blank tasks than I had before. Can we count tasks? I sure can. You can see the checklist at the bottom there. I bet you do too. The tasks you have for remote learning, perhaps? Tasks is something we can count up, so let's use the word fewer. Now I've got fewer tasks than I had before. I thought this would be a fun meme to round out our lesson with because it illustrates the use of less and fewer very well. There was less milk and fewer cookies after Santa's visit. Why is less used in front of milk? Because we can count it! We can't count milk! Oops, I think I misspoke. So the answer is because we cannot count milk. Why is fewer used in front of cookies? Because we can count cookies. Your assignment is to think of two more sentences to add to your page on less and fewer. One sentence needs to use the word less correctly, and the other sentence needs to use the word fewer correctly. I challenge you to do something kind of like this meme and write two sentences that actually use the words less and fewer in the same sentence. Can you write two different sentences that way? Let's see what you can do. When you come to class next, I will have you write the words you chose to represent fewer or less and add them to our class list with red and green markers to display for the class. Be creative. Don't copy me. I want to see all kinds of cool, countable, and non-countable items up there to represent how we would use the words fewer and less. See you guys later. Bye.